Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Commodity TV. Silver is one of the hottest metals in the sector. Get ready for good silver mining companies. Silver is being treated downright stepmotherly by investors. The market is manipulated and opaque. That may be true on some days on the futures exchanges. However, cars and solar panels are not built with paper silver, but with real physical silver, which first has to be found, then it should be economically mineable, and then you have to mine it and melt it down into pure silver afterwards. And that's where the power of paper silver comes to an abrupt end. The silver markets are in deficit, and the situation is getting worse with every quarter. In July 2020, we shot rapidly from $21 an ounce to $30 in just a few weeks. These movements will be with us in the future. Silver is a sought-after commodity because it is found in all high-tech, sustainability products, solar systems and electric cars, even in the batteries themselves. The gold of the little man is suddenly the sought-after metal of today. But back to the future markets. It is going to be exciting because the requests for delivery are steadily increasing and now one has to show that one can also deliver the silver. To be honest, we are curious where, whether everyone will get their silver. For a while, we can still make it with cash premiums paid for on the settlement. But as I said, due to the new green deal worldwide, this no longer helps if you need the silver physically. Since August 2020, buyers have been physically sucking the silver markets dry. The silver price has to rise above $32 an ounce and then the party will really start. A first price target here would be $40 to $42. After that, $46 to $48 should be possible. And in the longer term, we see $61 and even higher as the target from today's formation in the point in figure chart. The COMEX has always been a speculative vehicle, but rather nothing for delivery. However, this has changed massively as the experts note in the ETF Metals Report. While 84.6 million ounces were delivered in 2015, in 2018 it was already over 184 million ounces of silver. Then came 2020 with 292 million ounces of silver shipped. That represents about 35% of mine supply. This year, 143 million ounces have been delivered so far, but not counting July into it, into this, which is traditionally strong. There are still over 19 million ounces open for delivery in the July 21 contract, and there is more to come. We are positive on silver and believe in rising prices. Therefore, investors should stock up on companies like Max Silver and Endeavor Silver, as they cover 73% and 72% of their revenues, respectively, from the sale of silver as described in the BMO Capital Markets Silver Report. In the development sector, Discovery Silver and Kuya Silver stand out. Discovery holds among the largest silver resource in the world, will bring out a resource estimate and a PEA this year, and Kuya Silver should be in production as early as Q1 2022. In the exploration sector, we see Denaria Silver, Rich Lime Minerals and Tier 1 Silver as excellently positioned. Denarius has top projects in Spain and Colombia. Rich Lime Minerals has just increased its land holdings by 50% and is trading at full speed with good results. Tier 1 Silver is one of the most promising silver explorers in the world today. It is time to set the course as silver is in deficit. Upcoming deliver deliveries in the July contract are increasing and we expect rising ounce quotations soon, which should help the mentioned stocks to make significant gains. Please note the disclaimer and thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.